I decided to jump in the deep end pretty recently, maybe about six months ago, and start to put together my own PCB boards. It wasn't as hard as I actually thought it was going to be. Um, it takes a little bit of learning, but once you get the hang of it, it's a lot of fun. This one here is a headphone amp that I, uh, I think it was the first one I made. Um, and I um, recently got these ones printed up and, and sent through to me. Uh, headphone amps are great. If you've got a pair of headphones and uh, the sound quality is not so good, then you can use one of these and you get this lovely rich sound coming out from your headphones. Yeah, I got this board printed up and um, I was going to go through a whole montage of me putting all this together, but that's kind of boring. So, there's one I made earlier. So, it's I've got an input and output. You input your, your music and the outputs obviously to your headphones. There's a volume um, potentiometer. Um, there's an op amp there. I think it's 5532 op amp and some caps and the usual uh, components. It's quite small, so you know, it's around that big. I tried to get it as small as I possibly could. I think that's about as small as I could get it without using surface mounts, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the design um, and the great things it actually works so that's fantastic so once you've built your circuit the next thing to do is add it in an enclosure um, you know you can use anything from an Altoids tin to a tobacco tin to project box I mean it's it, I've used NES controllers and put these things in so it's up to you um, I'll go through a little bit of that build now and show you what I did with this one managed to Put the circuit inside this little tobacco tin. Drilled a couple of holes for the input output and for the pot as well. And then I secured the pot on with a little nut and a couple of nuts for the for the audio jacks. Uh, yeah, so next thing to do is to put this battery in. It's just a little I think it's from a phone. No, it's from a camera and then I'm going to use this little module to charge it up and get the voltage out and I'll put that just there. So stage two done. We've got the voltage regulator and battery charger put in and that's wired up to the battery so um, it's soldered onto the battery terminals there and then to this little module uh, charger. There's also that little screw, so I've uh, done a voltage check with the screw right there and changed it up to 9 volts. So currently that is the, the output on that will be 9 volts. I've made a little hole on the side here for the micro USB to charge it up. I've tested it and charged it and uh, it's charging fine. So next thing to do is add a switch. Okay, final finished kaput done build so I had to make a few changes I think last left off where I made a little slit in the side there for the charger for the battery I was going to put a switch here but I started against it and one of the main reasons why I decided against it in the end even though I made a hole in the side and I didn't change my mind until after I made the hole of course one of the reasons why is if it's sitting in your pocket there's a good chance of just pocket switching that on um, and I didn't want to have to do that so what I did was instead I put the switch inside so switch here it's easy enough to open up it doesn't lock or anything so you just pop it open it's protected you can hit the switch now I've got a little LED inside there and a little bit of diffusing plastic so you can see when it's on and off and now there's no chance for me to accidentally switch this thing on so if you want to make your own, check out the links that I've got in this uh, YouTube video. Um, I've also added a link to uh, my Google Drive which has all the uh, Gerber files and schematics and boards and everything. So if you just want to make it that circuit board and get one printed, grab the zip file, the Ger uh, Gerber zip file and just set it off to your, you know, your favourite PCB builder and they'll, they'll print it up for you. So. Um, yeah, thanks for checking this one out and I'm looking forward to do my next PCB design which is coming up very soon. Cool, see you guys.